All right, are we ready? Are we ready for this? Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since we have talked, um, but I feel, does it feel like to anybody else that it's like um, a news broadcast almost? Does that sound weird? Um, like there's so much going on in the world that it's like, you want to talk about that instead of it's like, oh, well, how's it affecting you? I don't know, you know, and you're comparing yourself to everybody else in the world. So hopefully this will get your mind off of it just a tad. Um, I received in the mail um, a palette to review. Doo -doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is a really, really heavy palette. Um, I have not opened it yet, so this is my first impression. And I am really excited about it. Very excited about it. It's got um, like a cut out. It's not only, um, I mean, it's got the box. The box is a cut out, but it's got like clear plastic. So you can see the cut out, but yet it's got the palette in it too. So, oh man. And I think I just got dust in my contact. So as this video is being made, um, tomorrow, um, last week they, they opened, uh, hair salons and so forth, which I did not get mine done yet. Um, I am waiting for that. Um, but they open hair salons and stuff. Um, tomorrow at 5 a, 5 PM, they get to open, uh, things like, um, waxing and, eyebrows and I think like eyelashes and nails. I'm, I think, I think nails too. I didn't hear that directly though. So, um, let's sit back and let's do a little review. It was a gorgeous day outside today. Um, I took advantage of it. I haven't done that for quite a while because it's been so stressful. Um, and I actually laid out in the sun, um, on the deck and so I've, mama's got some like a little bit of sun going on. Woo. Um, and I feel really good. I just got out of the shower, did my hair and, um, going out for dinner. So this is the perfect opportunity to actually do some makeup. We actually, um, so outdoor seating is now allowed. So that's kind of cool too. Um, so I haven't done like full makeup for a while, so I'm really excited to get into this. And since it's evening, um, I'm really excited to do the smoky thing going on with Jeffrey. So, um, <laughs> since I was in the sun today, um, a lot of freckles came out for sure. Um, I did kind of like exfoliate my skin a little bit around here. Um, so I'm a little dry. So I am going to use the Kate Somerville, uh, the Wrinkle Warrior. And which this is something that I always use and it plumps your skin a little, I guess. Um, but it makes it silky smooth, um, for your foundation to go on. So that is what I like about it. They also have a Ringle Warrior for eye. I typically don't use that one so much. Um, I just use this one, but I do use an eye cream. Um, for nighttime and for day normally. So, um, so yeah, so I've got a few more freckles coming out today. Um, but that just means that it's summer. So, um, I am going to use my darker foundation, which is the Miracle Philosophy. Um, I had been using the NARS, um, tinted moisturizer, which I really love too. Um, but I think that with my freckles, could be wrong, but I think that's going to be a little bit light for me. So I'm going to use some, actually I might mix it a little bit. Um, because the philosophy is a little bit darker. So let's see what happens. Um, yeah, it's like, 
you do your makeup on a daily basis and then it's like if you go like a couple days without it's like you just lose that routine is that crazy on things that you use so there we go i'm using a um sephora pro liquid foundation number 63 and i'm just dabbing it in and on the way here and because it's summer i'm not doing a whole whole lot of foundation not a whole whole lot just kind of covering up a little bit I've got some blemishes over here from the scarf or from the mask thing going on which is also another annoying thing to add to the mixture um, but you have to do it so for now in some places so um, And do a little dabble to ya. I'm not gonna use concealer because it's kind of thick right now, but I am just gonna put like a little bit there and a little bit there and then of my foundation and just buff that in. And there you have it. So a little bit less freckles, um, a little bit more blending and that's it so um let's see um eyebrows um i just kind of plucked a little bit a little bit um today so um i'm going to go in with my precisely my brow in shade number three and just do sort of an outline it's like it's you ever feel like when you haven't used your brows oh no son of a gun and you know what that clicking means it means that I'm down to the bottom so I'm gonna do the underneath and I may have to finish with something else So what is everybody most excited to get back to? What is that one thing that you've been missing, like out in public, a certain food, um, a certain place, a vacation spot? What What's that certain thing that you're missing in your life ever since COVID happened? I wanna know. All right. I mean, all along we've been doing carry out, so it's not like we've missed a whole, whole lot, except for like going out, sitting down, um, having actual service or um, having a drink somewhere, um, which is kind of ironic because it's like, we don't really keep anything here at the house to drink. So it's kind of like, uh, we haven't drank for a while. <laughs> Yeah, that one's gone. So let me finish with one that I have right here. <sighs> I hate when that happens. Darn it, I'm gonna have to do a to-go order at um, Alta. All right, so this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Brow Wiz in a soft brown. And actually the soft brown is even too dark for me right now with my lighter hair. Um, Today, my hair really lightened up because of the sun. Um, it really did. Um, and it got kind of like that brassy thing going on. So I used um, the purple shampoo to tone it down a little bit tonight. Um, but it has really taken its toll the past couple months. So. All right, 
lights. How are we looking there? Anything? I don't know. I always do like that sharp corner there. And then when you finish, always, always do the brushy brush again because it really does even it out. It really does even it out and make it more natural looking. And then if you have to go back over it um, afterwards, then do so to see if it's different once you get your eye makeup on. All right. All right, so that's good for now. <sighs> um, all right, I guess I'm gonna start with the palette. Dun, 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 dun. What'd I do with it? Um, all right, so this is a bad boy. I love this. I love this packaging. And this palette is so, so heavy. Um, but I love this screened um, plastic where it says cremated. Very cool. All right, so here we go. I've not opened it yet at all. Oh, and there we are. I'm going to take this off. It's just a clear piece. Um, it has all the names and stuff on there. And then it has a really heavy mirror in it. The, the mirror is very heavy just as heavy as what the palette is. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna do a soft, subtle um, look for tonight. So um, for my eyes, I did do a um, layer of like the, my foundation as my, and I guess I should probably do, let me see here. I use the, because I have it right here, this is the Morphe Eye Primer. And ta-da, there we are. And I kind of just put that in the crease so it just doesn't like lay in the crease so much. And I mean, you need like that much for your entire eye. I mean, it's like this tube will last you forever, forever. All right, so then the next step I always do is I always take a cream shade of some sort and do all over. So we've got lots of cream shades in here, which is really cool. I'm thinking um, the darker, what these two are pretty much the same. Can you see me here? Uh, this one and this one. Um, wow, they are really nice. They're so creamy. They look pretty much the same, the casket ready and the uh, burial gown, burial gown, burial gown. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna dab a little bit and I'm gonna put it all over. And that's pretty much white, <laughs> which was not really so much where I was going, but that's okay. You blend that out. It'll be fine. Very nice. All right, for the other, for the crease, um, I'm gonna do the taupe of some sort here. Uh, I'm gonna do, there's pretty much four. One, two, three, four. That one's more on the gray side. I'm gonna go with this guy right here, which is uh, the morgue. Uh, the mosque, the mosque, the morgue. <laughs> the morgue, the morgue, okay. I'm gonna go in with the morgue and I'm gonna do that as a crease color. Now mind you, I did not have a clean brush, so, um, a totally clean brush, I should say, um, but it's still clean, cleaner, cleaner, okay. <laughs> burn there I think it was quite a bit hot out today even though the wind was blowing I'm just gonna blend that out all right 
and then and this is kind of like a quick tutorial I mean this isn't gonna be like an hour-long um, <laughs> sit down look this is a quick quick go-to I'm going out for dinner to get something to eat because I'm starving and I haven't <laughs> been out in a while all right so I'm gonna take the other end of this brush um, this is actually a tart brush um, and I think it's like a button and a concealer brush um, and I'm going to take something darker uh, like this uh, grave digger grave digger actually I'm gonna go with solemnly swear that's more like on a bluish it's got some bluish in it so let's go in with that in the crease or on the side here And normally what I like to do is put a lighter color down and then if you need to darken it, then you can add some black to it. Um, oh my gosh, why do people text me in the middle of this? Holy cow. Can't they see that I'm doing a video? Hang tight. Okay, we're back. All right, so what I like to do is put like a lighter color down a darker but lighter color than black to see if I need something else down if it's not dark enough then I'll put black in there which I'm going to do now um so I had the taupe and I'm gonna brighten Ooh, there's a little bit of fallout all right let's just blend that there we go see gone all right Let's take this again and do a little bit of black in there. Now black is a tricky color, really tricky. Sometimes you need um, some glue just really to tack that on. Um, and actually my glue is packed, <laughs> so I can't use that right now. But normally I would use something like that. All right, so that's darkening up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a lighter color, again with this, um, actually with another brush. Let me wipe that one off. Now I went in with this before. Let's go in with a really lighter color like this. And lighten that top up just a bit. Now you can see all the shades in there for sure. Now, also in this palette are um, some shimmers. We've got this guy here, this one, these two, three, four are more on the darker side, but these two here are like a bronzy color. And you know I'm a bronzy girl, so um, let's do that there. And then let's do some bronze and I'm just going to tap in with my finger. Um, which one do I wanna do? I think I'm gonna do the lighter one. This one is mausoleum and man, is that pretty. Very pretty. Now, because that's dark, you are gonna need quite a bit to make it shimmer almost, I mean, that's the lightest of all of the shimmers. So even this guy right here, which is like a white, um, the diamond ashes. Oh, diamond ashes. I just now got that, uh, what that was. Um, So see how pretty that is, oh my gosh. All right, then I'm gonna take a blending brush again and blend that out. Blend those two together so that you have a little bit more there. That is so pretty. All right, 
normally I would use my Jaclyn Hill, but because this one here is a little uh, lighter, I'm going to use this for the, oh my word, for under my eye. So that's a little bright. Yeah, it is. Maybe a little too bright. We'll see here. Let's do the other side. And it's kind of a shimmery, so it's like you're not, if you're looking full on, it's not a shimmery, but if you look from the side, then it's like poof, there it is. So it's a little deceiving, which is kind of cool. So, <clears throat> all right, then I'm going to take that other brush again and just blend the bottom of that again so it's not so harsh of a line up there. That is so pretty. And then I'm going to take that same thing again and use that same color and do it for the corner of my eye. Now, just because this looks, when you're using a lot of um, grays and browns, it's kind of like, it, you would normally think browns are on the warmer side, but browns can also be on the cooler side too. So, um, and a lot of grays, like this one here has a lot of blue in it. So it's, it's more of a cooler um, gray than it is a warmer gray. Um, but even though it's a cooler, you can always make it a warmer. So you can mix and match and it's not a doom and gloom palette to whether you're a summer person or you're a winter person um, or a fall person. I am a fall person, um, typically. I like fall colors, um, browns, greens, not, not like um, forest green. Oh, forest green. Um, not like a grass green, not that kind of green. Uh, like army greens, muted, muted, fall colors uh the color of leaves hello yeah um all right so that is pretty awesome um I am going to put a little bit more dark in the corner here and that's just because once I blended it it just kind of disappeared a little bit again you may want to use some of that tack glue um Too Faced has a really good one um and just so that it doesn't move this is not an all day look. This is an evening look for a couple hours and that's gonna be like it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so do I need to review the palette? I, so far, I think it's really cool. I like it. I love um, the Smokies anyway. Um, a lot of these the colors are amazing. Especially that one, look at that one. Yes. I mean, because look at my fingernail polish. It's like a coppery rose. So I'm like a fall person. Um, let's do this one up here too. They're so soft and creamy. Very soft and creamy. But you could do so many looks out of this for sure. So many looks. All right. So I think I've got my smoke going on. It's not, you know, a cut crease or anything like that. But I think it's um, pretty darn good. <laughs> All right. So... Um, eyeliner, I'm going to go with a bronze, I think. Um, I'm going to do, this is called Double, the Double Life? Double Life uh, from Urban Decay 24-7. And um, it's a brown. I typically would have probably done black, but I'm not going to do black today. So that gives it a little bit of my fall look right there with that rustic brown and typically I'd go as far as like my three quarters yeah like three quarters of my eye but do you see how those colors make my blue eyes really pop? It really does. Um, just that little bit of red that's in this um, really brightens it up. So. So there is the top of that. 
And there's a little bit of fallout with that other color, um, with that light shimmery color, just a little bit. So we'll just brush that away a little bit. And it's not to where it's gonna like damage my, um, my foundation or anything like that. It's not like you gotta wipe it away and reapply. It's not like that at all. All right. All right, so there's that. Next, I'm gonna move on to the contour, and this is um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, their powder bronzer in the shade Tawny. One of my favorites. Yes, yes, yes. And this is a Kat Von D brush, um, the shade and light brush. And I'm just gonna take, this is actually the color there, you can see it. It's, it's got a little bit of red in it, um, almost like a desert color. Now, I really go in hard with my contour, with my bronzer, because I buff it out when I'm finished. And I always take a buffer brush, and this happens to be a Bare Minerals brush for them. And I just go in and buff it out so that it's, and you can really see my jaw pop when I do that. And then I take, um, lately I've been using my Jaclyn Hill, and this is, I'm wondering when she's going to be open again, because I need to order this one. Jaclyn, you need to have um, the lightest colors, again, um, in inventory, because they're not in inventory, and I don't like that, <laughs> because you can't order them. It's, I don't understand. Everybody wants the lighter colors. Ooh, that's bright. See that one? So I'll have to blend that a little bit too. So see, if you make mistakes, it's not like you can't buff it back out. And you don't want to buff it up, you want to buff it down. And there you go. See that? Yes, yes, yes. And then I always take um, a little bit of that same highlight and I do my Cupid's bow. And a little bit on my nose. Now, this is, it's shiny, but it's not Jaclyn Hill, I'm sorry. So I gotta do that again a little bit right over top of it because I just love that. I'm obsessed with her highlighters. Obsessed. All right. And I'm going to buff a little bit down, too. Now, the whole mask thing is a whole different gamut, a whole different video. That's more a pain in the rear <laughs> than it's worth. Um, but this is a look without the mask. All right. All Nighter Urban Decay. I'm at the bottom of this and typically, because of the mask now, I do more sprays like in here than I do anything, so it doesn't really like disturb my makeup. And then I take a dry, um, this one I think is Morphe. Yeah. And really tap that in. I always spray my face prior to um, my lipstick and my mascara, for sure. One, because um, I don't want it to run. So, all right, um, lipstick, I think I'm gonna go in. Let's see how you can, this is kind of a neutral color, so you can either go pink for cool, um, or you can go and deeper and go uh, neutral brown. And I think I'm gonna go with the neutral brown. So this is just colors and I think this one is called Leo or something. 
uh, on fire. But I love the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. And I also love the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. I just wish that he kept them in, in stock. <laughs> uh, especially the one called Leo. I love that lipstick. I keep that one in my purse all the time. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the Hourglass. Um, this is their newer Film Noir um, mascara. And I really like this one because of the little brush. This reminds me of the Marc Jacobs that um, they used to have and they took it away and I don't know why because I really, really loved that mascara. And I forget what that one was called, but they took it away. Now I admit that this mascara is, it smells a little much. Um, I was a little shook when I, when I got this, but um, I do like the wand. And I think that the wand makes all the difference in the world compared to what the mascara is sometimes, which is a little crazy, but I believe that to be true. So, and my lashes, I had extensions before and I really miss them. Um, but they're opening up tomorrow, I think, as well. So um, it was really hard for me when they fell off. And I typically don't do my under eye a whole, whole lot um, just for this outer corner. And that's about it. And that just gives it that like little bit of extra flair. Plus then it doesn't always give you that, um, that look that your eyelashes just fell off or fell down your face or that black look, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't run. So I just do just a little bit. And really it's not enough to make a big difference. So half the time I don't do it at all. So. All right, I think that's about it. I am going to look at my eyebrows again here and if I have the same one here, yeah, the soft brown. And I'm just gonna fill in again a little bit there to the edge, bring it out and the same thing here. I think that's about it. All right. Did I forget anything? Did I forget? Now, I will probably put on a dress, um, uh, a tank dress, and I will probably um, uh, I'll put earrings on as well. But let's do some hair here. And there we go. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I really need to get a haircut for sure. My color isn't so bad. I need to get some highlights, but um, but the base of it is still magnificent. We'll see. So, all right. So considering I got a little bit um, of sun today, I don't think that's too, too bad. I'm a little bit more redder than, um, than the norm. And um, so yeah, there we go. Um, thanks again so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Um, please leave some comments down below on what you've been doing through all this. What is it that you're going to get back to? What is it that you're missing? What's that one thing that you want to get back to out in public? Um, I think me is, um, one being with people, but also, um, 
being in public. Um, I mean, I enjoy going to the grocery store, so it's just like talking to people, I think. It's not really anything in general, so. Um, and yeah, they're still texting me. <laughs> so, yeah, please leave some comments down below. Make sure you subscribe and catch me on Instagram as well, at Uptown Glam Girl. And I will catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, God bless. <laughs> And we're out. <laughs>